soon as I grab him, okay, is that he now has to either address my first past attempt, okay, which is what I should immediately throw out. Like if I touch his pants and he hasn't touched me back yet, no matter what the movement is, I should do something to punish him for letting me get these grips first. Even something simple like just moving his hips out of position. Like if he was reaching up to strip my grips and before he grabs my sleeves, I moved his hips out of position, now he has to think about framing. Okay, he doesn't really get the luxury to just freely strip my grip anymore and go to his position. Now he's got to think about rotating his hips over, bracing off his hip, maybe posting on my leg, posting on my shoulder, whatever it is he has to do to stop that first initial pass attempt that I throw out. Okay, uh, so you can see how this, this is really important. So I think this concept is like touch go. Okay, like the moment you touch someone's pants or the moment you grab a grip, like I said, you should know what you want to do with it. So if I reach down and grab these, I shouldn't look into his fucking eyes for five seconds while he grabs me back, I should move, that was weird, I should move his fucking legs right away, okay? And this is something you have to practice a little bit because most people are really bad at not just getting these grips, but like getting them actually tight enough that I can move him, okay? They grab and they fumble and they adjust and in that adjustment period, that's when he's grabbing me back and now he can stay in the match, okay? So we're just gonna practice a little concept, touch and go. Okay, you're gonna come in, you're gonna reach down, the moment you get these grips, okay? You're gonna move him out of position. So you just need to get good at this, okay? Then go either way. It could also be a spin, it doesn't matter, but there should be some kind of movement the moment you connect to him, okay? And then the other thing too is know your range, okay? So like most people get a lot closer than they need to to grab the grips. The closer I get to him, the more he can grab me, okay? He, he's kind of limited in how far he can move this way because he's on his back, okay? He's not even sitting up. He can kind of adjust his legs a lot. He can try to sit up, and that's really all he can do to increase his chance of grabbing me, except unless I come into him. He can't really scooch away from me, okay? So, know your distance. Learn, like, like right here, I feel pretty confident I could reach out and grab this, or I could reach across and grab this and move it, okay? Out here, I can't. In here, I'm closer than I need to be, unless I'm trying to inside step his thighs, which I'd want to be a lot closer. Okay, so figure out your distance, okay? Start to work on uh, precision and accuracy on your grips, okay? So like, not just shooting out as fast as you can at first, because like I said, you'll connect, then you'll have to fumble to get the grip actually tight enough to use, and that's when he grabs me back. So just here, okay? So we're just gonna spend a little time practicing that. It, it's a, I think it's a really important concept. If you wanna develop like a good guard passing game, these are the kind of fundamentals that people are kind of aware of, but they just completely gloss over. You know, no one spends the time actually practicing it, or if they do, they're not really sure what they're trying to improve at, okay? So, did that explanation click a little bit? Okay, partner up, we won't spend as long doing it, but again, figure out your range, move them the moment you can. Uh, th this Also, this, guys, the less, the less slack in the pants, the more connection I have to his hips. So, if you grab really loose grips, Okay, it can be hard to actually move someone that has good frames. If you get really good at bunching up all the fabric and getting a really tight pants grip, now I can ragdoll him a little bit. Okay, so that's another facet. Get really good at getting the grips, getting them really tight, and then immediately moving him. Okay, guys, go ahead and grab some burgers.